Okay, so what I'm going to show y'all, my classes, we have not started projectile motion, we're starting today. Ms. Perkins' class, I think y'all have already started. So that's all right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show y'all what's called the monkey and the hunter demonstration. So, what I'm going to have y'all do uh, in just a second is I'm going to have y'all close your eyes, just for a moment, okay? And I want everybody to close your eyes, and then we're going to transform this place and we're going to go to a different place. All right? So, everybody close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes. You'll be all right, I promise. I have not hurt anybody today. All right, now, keep your eyes closed. Imagine, if you will, you're in a jungle, a deep, dark jungle. And in the deep, dark jungle, there are lions and tigers, no bears, no bears in a jungle. And we want to get to the other side. You can open your eyes. We want to get to the other side of this jungle. Because on the other side, the village, my family, needs my help. But in order to get to the other side, I have to get past bloodthirsty monkeys <laughs> that don't like me. And they want to prevent me from getting to my family. So I'm forced, I don't want to do this, but I'm forced to try and defend myself against the dreaded monkeys. Now, these monkeys are notorious. For, if I get close to him, he's going to drop down. And then he's going to get me. And so I have to figure out, okay, how can I defend myself against that monkey? Well, luckily, I have this air cannon. And in the air cannon, I happen to have, also coincidentally, a laser sight. And so I have to figure out, though, because, you know, I had to know where to point it. I had to say, okay, well, where should I point my cannon at? Because think about it for a second. These are deadly monkeys, right? But they're also very smart monkeys. And they realize that if I point my laser at them, and they see me draw on them and pull the trigger, the second I pull the trigger, they're going to jump down and get me. So if I know that monkey's going to drop the second I pull the trigger, where should I aim in order to hit the monkey? Below All right. So let's try it by that logic. According to that logic, I should aim below him. Because if I aim below him, he's going to drop down, and then I'm going to get him, right? Right. So let's try this. Now, this laser is pointed directly down the barrel. It's not offset for you hunters out there. So there's no, I'm not shooting up or down or whatever. It's exactly bore sighted. So I'm pointing directly at the monkey's face right now. So by this logic, if I pull the trigger right now, what's going to happen? Am I going to hit him or am I going to miss him? Let's find out. So I'm going to pump it up. And will you do me a favor and hold the base? All right, earlier I put one through the monkey, so I can't put as many. All right, so now I pumped it up about 12 times, and now I'm going to pull the trigger, and let's see. Now listen. <laughs> now listen, we want to see, do we hit the monkey? Now, I'm going to turn the lights on. Yeah. One, because I already turned off the effect. Uh, and two, oh, you're too smart. <laughs> and two, because if I lose my marble, the game's over, because I only have one marble that fits. Edgar, you're officially in charge of finding where the marble goes. Okay? <laughs> you don't have to get the marble. You just have, your job is to make sure you don't lose it. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three.
Did you hear it? Dang. <laughs> I did hear it. It's over there. And it's too fast. Now, don't worry, I'm going to do it more. Where? Now, you got to listen. Now we'll do it again. I guess listen like you're hitting cardboard. Yeah, it's like a thumb. There you go. That's, that's my cardboard sound. Oh, sir. Great. Yeah. And the magnet releases. We'll try it again. Now, how does this work? There's aluminum foil. The aluminum foil goes over the edge and it makes the circuit. This is an electromagnet, which is a magnet that runs on electricity. If you turn the circuit off, if you turn it off, then the magnet turns off. So as soon as the bullet leaves the barrel, the ma that means the magnet turns off and the monkey starts to fall at exactly the same time. So that's the magic behind this. All right, so if you'll hold that, we'll try this again. But this time, I'm only gonna pump it six times. Last time I pumped it 11 times. This time I'm gonna pump it six times. So what do you think will happen to the velocity of the projectile. It's going to get lower, right? It's not going to be as much. So, if I leave it aiming at exactly the same spot, will I hit the monkey? No. Nope. Let's find out. Two, three, four, five, six. Ready? One, two, three. Did I hit it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Let's try and actually learn something out of this. Darn it. Because it's fun to just shoot stuff. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> Are you volunteering? <laughs> well, I'm going to guess at 16, it was enough to put it through cardboard. So I'm imagining probably it could cause some real problems. But we're not going to do that. Now, think, if you will, for a moment, okay? We've already proved that it doesn't matter how many times I pump that, it always hits the monkey. As long as the monkey drops at exactly the same time as the bullet leaves the barrel. I will also tell you right off the bat that if that condition is not met, then you will miss the monkey. If the monkey drops before the barrel, bullet leaves the barrel, then that wouldn't happen. Even though the even though the barrel is already even though like if the monkey dropped while the marble is moving through the barrel, I would still miss the monkey. Okay? But as long as the marble leaves the barrel at exactly the same time as the monkey drops, I will always hit it. So the question is why? Why is it that I will always hit it as long as the marble is exactly leaving the barrel? At exactly the same time the monkey drops. Yes, Gravity sir. is always the same. Say again? Gravity is always the same. Okay, what do you mean by gravity is always the same? It has the same value. Okay. Each time it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't remember what value is. No, you're, you're on it. Is that the value? Yep. Okay, so he's right. Think of it this way. Because he said gravity is always the same. And I'm, by that I mean, you, I'm assuming, and correct me if I'm wrong, but what you mean is that gravity is pulling on both objects the same. Is that correct? Okay. And he's correct in that assumption. Because think about it. If our monkey, okay, if we now had a space monkey, right? And our space monkey was holding onto his spaceship, which is very small, right? And I was a space, you know, hunter, okay? And I evolved to the point to where I didn't need a space suit anymore, right? And so. There's no gravity in interstellar space. We're assuming there's no gravity. There really is, but whatever. So if there were no gravity, and we were in space, and I shot at the monkey, what would happen when the monkey let go? The monkey would stay right there. But what would happen to the bullet? It would go straight in the line. The bullet would just go in a straight line. And why would the bullet go in a straight line? Because there's no gravity. Because there's no gravity making it curve. The reason why bullets, the reason why all projectiles curve, is because gravity's pulling them down. 
So, if you shoot something horizontally, gravity makes it do that. If you drop something, gravity pulls it straight down. If you fire something at an angle, gravity makes it curve like that. And so here, I basically have a demonstration or I have a drawing where if there's no gravity, the bullet just travels straight, but the monkey doesn't move, and so you still hit the monkey. If you turn gravity on, the monkey falls, but so does the bullet. And so what determines whether or not where you hit the monkey at is how fast it's moving along the x-axis. And so by changing the x-axis, though, I haven't changed the y-axis. Both objects are still affected exactly the same way. What questions do you have? All right, so that can...